Reality World. This your girl, La Kiki, Miss D. That's C. That, that is. And I'm coming at you with Big Brother 22. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then I know y'all, you know, I cut my hair, took out my locks. I'm back to the fresh curls, that is, for now. But I need to get this done. That's a whole nother story. But yeah, we finally have in Big Brother, like, we were disappointed with can't bb uh what was it bb uh seven canada uh yeah we was disappointed with that because they just left them hanging in the middle of the season uh and just pretty much told them to pack up and go home so now we get this we didn't know how long it was going to be before we get big brother but i'm going to try to quickly um get this down because i gotta literally go inside the building like in like really like 10 minutes but we're gonna push this to 15 at the most so before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel because your girl about to definitely do all of the big uh, BB-22. I don't got nothing but time, you know, so uh, <clears throat> I should have no excuse why I don't go through all my um, big brothers working two jobs or not, you know. So let's get into it. Uh, pretty much <laughs> my thoughts on this uh, episode premiere. Uh, one, I love the house. I, I, lo I literally... Uh, love the i'm sorry the not the house but I, I do love the house but i'm saying like the outside uh uh part of the house like when you walking in this is like the best uh look for the it looked glossy it looked like underwater isk it looked like i don't know surfboard surfboard and shit like you know it looked real it looks real good um and I was just like, oh, okay, Julie looked good up against it too. Like, I like the whole outfit that she had on too. Uh, she had to stand in her little stiff positions as usual, but I definitely um, think she looked cute. It's kind of, it kind of gave off um, uh, Kennedy wife esque type of outfit that she had on, which is still, even though it's still past tense, it's still kind of modern to today's look a little bit. You know, especially like for prime first ladies, and I would consider Julie Chen Moonves a uh, prime first lady of CBS. You know, I'm not gonna get into that, but um, yeah. So the first four people we see is uh, Nicole F. Like, why are you here? I I know this is all stars, and it's like we're gonna get we're gonna at least put some winners in here that's not um afraid to come in the BB house during this pandemic season or whatever. And long as they tell some um, negative, you know, let's get them in. But nobody in the fan base said nothing about they want the cold back in his house. This is supposed to be the fan favorites. Where, where's the favorites? Where's her favorites at? I'm trying to understand. Like, I, I, I Twitter stalk all the time and. I ain't hear nobody say nothing about no daggone Nicole is uh, any type of a fan that anybody want. But that's just my opinion. She, It's like she talked with her nose. I, the moment I met her on season 16, I believe, she was already annoying. Because every time she's talking, you know, or, or her glasses on top of her, I don't know why. Like, who want to hear... I do not want to hear that all day on a live feeds pretty, pretty much. And I do not want to see Nicole putting up the bun, taking down the bun just to put it back up in the same bun all live feed. I'm that's my annoyance. And then on top of that, you know, you smiling in people's face, hey, playing an innocent act. Like everybody's seen season after season with you, girl, that you cannot play this little baby doll act, like this little victim noise act. Yes. AKA um Cor uh, what's his name? Corey. I think his name is Corey. I might be getting that wrong, but it's been a while. Uh, yeah, uh, Jessica, uh, husband. Uh, yeah, she'd be making them vict victim noises like shit, girl. Like, nobody got time for all that. Um, so we're gonna move on from her because I could do a whole rant about. Matter of fact, I should make this the Nicole, uh, get that whole out of here rant, but I ain't gonna even do that. Um, meanwhile. Uh, we have, uh, Mama Day, and I already knew from looking at your account, 
uh, that you were definitely in, you was definitely in the house because you could definitely tell the language of how you speak on um, the lingo of um, Twitter, you know, and whoever has your account is like little cousin or something like that because they're posting dumb shit. Like this looked like some little girl ass shit they posting on your account. So I knew that that was not you ho i knew you was in the house but i'm glad to see you i'm mad that you're not doing poker uh dealing poker anymore because um i wanted to go to your table because i'm a poker player and i'd I be playing all around the globe you know so i did want to meet you at the poker table i bet i'm gonna be talking about poker like i'm like ah oh, you know you must you know they did you wrong you know you should da 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 but uh what about the cars though uh full house please quads please you know i'm the straight poker when it's at the poker table i don't care who you are but um pretty much uh those two and then we have uh christmas which i there's another person that's like i mean i know she has some fans but you damn sure ain't no favorite so I don't know why you're here either. And nobody wanna like I guess she some people was here some people was here from uh being final three a couple times, uh coming in top two, uh actually winning, and the people that were uh that was pretty much robbed by uh twists and turns and and or like very strategic at thinking and people want to see how far the game could have went had this not happened, you know? So that's what a lot of people are here for. And I think, uh, what was the other female that they had with them? It was Day, it was Nicole F, Frenzel, whatever. And it was um, uh, Christmas. And then it was um, uh, Keisha. Mm. I believe it was Keisha. No, it was, um, it was, uh, Danielle I think it was Danielle or Keisha one or the other yeah whatever way they came in the house I can't remember right now because they was coming in so quickly and you know I'm just like I'm I'm actually glad it wasn't an audience because it went much smoother without an audience it would have been even worse with an audience it would be like, <gasps> all that like I don't need all that I just need to get straight to the point um pretty much they went in first julie was basically um rambling through the whole thing but obviously we can get we 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 can only get what we need to get she was pretty much telling them like you're gonna go in the house it's gonna be a question uh in the backyard for every single set of people and then you're gonna answer that question as quickly as possible uh you know get your puzzle piece uh find out what room that that answer is in uh and then go get your puzzle uh go do your puzzle pretty much and then uh put that ball into the hole that it belongs to it correlates to far as which room that answer is in pretty much and pretty much the winners of this um was uh nicole nicole was part of that nicole a was part of that group because she was the one that actually um won second it was christmas who actually one first and she and out of all people i'm like this whole got a freaking chance to be hoh and she's the most annoying person that nobody wants there i knew that was going to happen like that of course it could be mama day of course it couldn't have been uh uh even like danielle or even janelle or anything like that i barely almost got it but i'm just thinking like the boys had like the bathroom or something um uh, what was it it was like the bathroom or something like that i'm like that's a little corner right here you got for the boys but then the girls all the way in the kitchen they got to go around a whole curb that you can slide out from the front part and you can slide out from the end part it's literally not that many ways around it. You just gotta, your ball just gotta roll perfectly in that perfect spot. And then they give the girls four minutes for that. They should have gave the girls a little longer of a chance of shot and then gave the boys like two minutes. Like literally that little ass co right here. And then the other one was like the lounge or something like that. I think it was the lounge. Like that's short shit for the boys. That's crazy as I don't know what. And we had freaking Tyler in the drain. I don't even know how I feel about him. I I know 
I can't knock his game how he just played people, pretty much. I can't knock your game. Uh, I damn sure can still hate you. Like, I, 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 and I hate you, but you know, like, I don't like the moves that you pulled on a person that you actually should have trusted most. Barely had your back through thick and thick. I don't know if you can mend those things and barely don't be a dumbass because um, I see you up on this daggone live feed and I was watching it for pretty much majority of the night. And you looking like you you looking like you about to go straight back into that foul taste shit. And I I think you should just digress and not not do that. Not not do that. Because you still trust in Tyler after all this. Let me get a DR. You know, let me let me let me see Sunday's episode and get a DR of how people really feeling. Because if you falling for that shit again, that's gonna be a problem. That that's definitely gonna be a problem. And you are like looking black woman to black woman i just don't want to say this but you looking like a get with asshole like you you looking like you jumping on dicks and i mean and and i don't literally mean dicks i mean puss like i you literally look like you're jumping on uh janelle and kzar kzar and um kzar and you uh look like you're jumping back on tyler's bandwagon uh your strategy so i'm gonna wait to see like i'm not gonna judge too hard but i'm just like that's what i'm hearing you looking like and then uh, you you did back and forth with day but you just want to make sure you align yourself with the good ones first and then let me jump back into the sisterhood with day it's like knobbish like you can keep it moving like if you ain't in this then you're not in this but okay like you okay another sagia like i ain't got time for that shit but thank you for letting me know up in front and early them braids that 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 uh knotless braids that you had in girl everything i'm trying to get that in my hair right now but let me focus on what i'm really trying to say um pretty much this this episode premiere uh it came with mediocre twist in turn i mean i'm glad it it was actually because i didn't want to be something drastic and i know people will be killing uh cbs for saying oh look at all your favorite okay guess what four going home tonight you know like it would have been that would have did their ratings in and nobody would have you know committed to big brother if you just like hey you know put bacon in front of or you know bait me with my favorite thing and then just be like it's done glad you looked at it for a while you know like so that's how i feel about that uh what else on the episode um that i really want to address i really want to address like christmas you so pressed to go and buzz in like you actually like this is the first time that you can like show them what you worth and all that other stuff you about to crack your damn ankle uh trying to get to the buzzer not once but twice you, you you about to crack your dag on ankle run into the buzzer like it's a freaking puzzle you put it down already all you had to do was walk to it everybody's still working on their puzzle like girl you doing the most nobody this this is not the track giant that you won like it, that was so annoying and then on top of that when they move over to the um because it was christmas it was nicole a which i'm so happy for and i love nicole a um the other one can go um and then you have I'm going to address Christmas after I uh, dig into um, Ian. Because Ian, you're going to do a whole uh, uh, video about you being so smart and winning your season and and smoking uh, Dan and the jury. But then you're going to talk about something. This, this time, I'm going to dial it back and I'm going to play the dumb card. You can't undo smart. You can't undo smart at all you you even start from dumb and you get smart and everybody learn and now you 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 play down like you don't play down the smart but you just lay back that's what i think you meant to say but what you said and how it came off in your vt video you know shout out to uk big brother um which they need to bring back like shit because that was the, the number two for me um but yeah like what you meant to probably say is like like i'm a dial back trying to go hard you know <clears throat> on my skills and, and and make them forget how smart i am 
uh, by just playing cool social game and just sitting and laying back until it's time to, you know, turn on my smartness again. But playing dumb is going to still get you sent out because people are going to know that you're very smart and it's no way you can play dumb. Everybody been on Twitter. Even the new kids know that, oh, Ian name comes out there so much with people in the Twitter world. They ain't stupid. Oh, Ian, they talk about Ian guy a lot. I, don't, I never watched his season, but I know Ian is going to watch out because I've been giving this information from Twitter. Like, you think they're not going to put two and two together? You look like you just about to finish a puzzle in your mind. As soon as I shook your hand, you finished a puzzle. Somewhere, you finished a puzzle somewhere. And, I, you know, I, I yeah, yeah. That was a that was that was stupid. And then you did all of that. And as soon as you went in the house, you played it all the way down. You played your smartness all the way down, boy. You sure did by winning, being the first one to win the dag on a, a first round of the HOH competition. Bravo, bravo. That was so smart. Like that's why I just, I was laughing like shit. Like what? you can't undo smart I, <laughs> that wasn't smart Ian and you smart but okay and then Tyler he can't he can't he he said it right I can't play the dumb surfer boy anymore because everybody know my game playing mastermind and stuff so I'm a pretty much what do with Ian lay low see where I can fit in pretty much see who's vulnerable and who want to come to me and try to work with me or because pretty much everybody going to be against me type of attitude. Uh, Janelle looks real good for your age. You girl, you talk about some, you out of shape and this and this and that. Yeah, I do got them little 40-year-old uh, uh, knees too. <laughs> Especially after my surgery that I had, like it's like it weakened me fast because, you know, they said I was going to get arthritis at an early age or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I heard her during a lot of feeds. Like that giant popped real hard when you was talking to Bailey. And I love her and Kingsar together, but I will get rid of y'all asses, pretty much, you know. Uh, but take it as a grain of salt. Um, I'm sorry. Take it as a compliment. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, yeah, it's too early for me. But yeah, I love them together, but a little bit, you acting a little bit. You're acting a little bit privileged right now. You know, I really actually didn't like some of your comments that you've been kind of saying online uh, throughout the other big brothers that we've been watching. I've been following you and I, and sometimes you was my favorite player, uh, one of my favorite players after Rachel. Uh, well, not after Rachel, before Rachel, because I stopped watching the show before, but still... I like her attitude more because her attitude is the same way I'd be like, besides that whiny shit, uh, her attitude is just like how I would be. Uh, but you, you, you kind of coming off a little bit privilege and I don't forget the stuff you've been saying about some of the house guests that's actually in there, but I'm going to keep it on a positive note. I'm just going to watch your ass and and watch Danny as well. Danny's sneaky ass, but then again, I like her go get it. I ain't got time for these hoes attitude. Like I need somebody to spice the shit up and and Kaser like spicing it up. Kaser like you used to have that sexy that sexy um sexy <laughs> that sexy thick mane of yours, young. Yeah, I'm bald much. You know, like it's kind of you you just K now. I don't know about the star, but K Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Here. Okay. That's how I felt about <laughs> looking at you for the first time. But you still got them sexy, um, nice, full eyes and all that other stuff. I love K, sir. And I love your go get it attitude, too. You and Danny literally should link up, actually. But I don't know if Danny's going to be willing to play with Jan uh, Janelle because it's just only one uh, legend. Ho. Legend Ho. There's only one, and she want to be the first one, on and the only one. But um, pretty much they have a a, a twist because uh, Cody as um, skip like he he act like he was playing hop skip, I mean uh, hopscotch and stuff. He skipped over the giant like 
I don't even think he he only uh went down on the third one in the beginning and after that he just like like just act like he was freaking um in a mothership and they had to take him up for exercise and they shot the shot the, uh near his feet on the ground he's like but man, maybe that's an instance there for me to say <laughs> because of this time period but I'm the one saying it so but um yeah he he just did that thing and i like i loved his jeans too I, I was just focused on stuff that i shouldn't be focused on but i was like dang his uh jeans everything and bailey jeans was everything and her uh knotless braids was everything and her makeup was on point and then i was like oh christmas uh sneaks christmas whole outfit that she came in i was like oh that's job everything like that's exactly the look i would go for because it's kind of like real summer-esque and like comfortable and stuff like that's what i would do so or what well, that's what i would wear i was i don't know why i was um i think i was focused on clothes and stuff like that because i was kind of bored of shit and the with julie keep going over and hashing over everything so pretty much cody won that daggone comp 22 seconds like literally and then christmas about to, to tear her damn ankle up again uh uh i mean pop her uh, foot again the way she went down it was the same foot that went up in the air i guess she like i'm gonna protect this foot at all costs because i ain't about to go down on this dumb first comp and she had no chance she, shaking uh, trying to get to the daggone <laughs> trying to get through one little step two step like girl move they said 22 seconds and you uh-huh uh-huh I, but i guess she like this comp ain't worth it because i ain't trying to break my um foot again and um nicole yeah you you just look like you was just <laughs> like the fall didn't even happen you you did the fall for like 15 seconds where you could have been already back on the mat it's like girl it's like oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry you telling yourself you're sorry girl go somewhere <laughs> get on the thing and hurry up and go and then uh kevin i love kevin too actually i do love kevin i yeah i respect him for doing what he did to america's couple i don't know where they get america's couple at but you know whatever you know because <laughs> i didn't i didn't think so but yeah i love what she what you did to them or whatever that that was cool um and i love your personality i think that's gonna be cool and i think you and mama day kind of coming off like the new mama day and, and jason kind of in a way so i'm gonna just look out for that uh uh nicole a and and uh and uh day david are getting close and pretty much are connecting she look at him as family mike so i got your back no matter what uh nicole and cody nicole f and cody yeah y'all better watch out for them because they definitely just like how nicole a is with david they always gonna have each other back because of the season and stuff and so they're gonna try to act like they <clears throat> are still having some beef you know but um so he is the hoh and all the rest of the people have been given punishment except for christmas so so this joint rigged like shit like for, for nah she and then she picked the card first before uh before i believe uh what's his name uh renegade um correct me in the chat please uh i know his name but i can't get it out uh before the renegade guy the you know um got his card she got she got hers and and julie kept saying uh let him pick his first let him pick his first she was like okay this side's gonna go okay um it was just getting on my nerves julie it was getting on my nerves you keep saying saw threats hey, hey you been sitting out or are you gonna get evicted anyone who's still saying is gonna get evicted it's like Julie, please shut up. Nobody is listening to you. Nobody's is them salt threats. You know nobody gonna get evicted. They already rigging the show for one of the one of the favorites. So if you gonna sit that little dumbass down, salt threats and shit. But you saw Day hurried up like it's freaking musical chiz and shit. Sit down. She was about to sit on um uh uh Kevin lap or whatever. I was cracking up laughing. Um then they got this other dumb twist that's about to happen probably on Sunday's episode with um somebody or people could play in the deck on a first twist which is a, a safety and this this one is consisting of a safety of saving two people I do know to spoil you on that um 
but I won't do that in this video at all. Because I'm, I'm looking at the live feeds, but I'm not sure whether I should talk about what I see on the live feeds or just follow the live feeds and just get an understanding so I could better explain to you guys the <clears throat> house dynamics. But if you want me to talk about whatever's on the live feed, because I, I figure everybody probably paid now for the live feeds because we, well, you can get, actually, never mind, because production is it, on TV now. But um, I would think still people would pay for the live feeds more. So it was like, should we do live feeds videos? But if so, if you want me to do that, um, I will. I will do a live feed update if you want me to. So make sure you drop that in the comments. I'm trying to see what's going to happen, who's going to be nominated. Uh, please nominate Nicole F, please. But I just know that's not going to happen. Uh, just don't nominate Mama Day, uh, Bailey for now, uh, David, Nicole A, uh, and the other people I'm not going to say because I already know. I already know what's up. But I'm going into this building and get this day over with. So make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And I'm back. So stay tuned because I'm going to give you them videos. And if you want me to do the live feeds uh, updates for you, make sure you drop it in the comments and let me know. All right. I'll holla. Bye.